your BSR or business sales rank is an easy way to test how your product is doing against the competition. Also, this is a great technique to use during product research because you can tell what is the top seller and how it competes and how it's ranking against everything else. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. And in this video, we're going to analyze the BSR. So as you go and look at any particular search on Amazon, so I've done gifts for mom in this case. I sell a bunch of gift boxes for, for women and stuff like that. So in here, you could do any search term though and gauge this yourself. Now I do have a couple of Chrome extensions that are extraordinarily helpful for this exercise. One of which is Helium 10. You can use My Amazon Guy 50 to get 50% off that. Another one that I like is DS Quick View. You can use a free version for this. There is a $10 or $20 version as well. But essentially in here, it populates the BSR information right on the search results, which is why I like DS Quick View. And then once you get to the detail page, Helium 10s has some really great information. There are a bunch of other tools that do similar things. So right here though, I can see, hey, this item right there, it's ranked 428,000 in kitchen and dining. Pretty much that means they, they sell once every five or six weeks, just a single unit, does nothing. So I don't need to pay attention to that item when doing research. Now this one's at 13,000 in home and kitchen. That one's a mover, it's got 5,000 reviews. Obviously, the ones with high reviews also are pretty good signal and indication. But this gives you an idea that like how the BSR works. If we were to go into this listing right here and actually look at the BSR over time, um, and by the way, I think they did a really good job on this listing. I mean, she's looking straight at the camera. We get the whole idea of the product. Pretty good. Shows a lot of different things. I also like the fact you can see there's one for everybody in the family. Um, so as you go down and look at the, the BSR over time, a couple things you can see down here. First of all, this is the Helium 10 uh, Chrome extension. And in here, you can see different date ranges, how they're doing over time. So in the last 30 days, they've ranged from a sales rank of 24,000 as low as 13,000. The way that BSR works, it's kind of like golf, right? Your lowest score is going to be preferable. So the lower the BSR is, the better and faster the unit is selling. Also keep in mind, it's kind of exponential. So an item at 500,000 versus 400,000 is could be the difference of a one or two unit per month in sales. However, the difference between say 50,000 and 25,000, totally different, right? It could be the uh, difference between hundreds, if not thousands of units moving. So the closer you get to the top of the BSR, those lower numbers, the more exponential the sales velocity becomes. Very big differences between the 100,000 and the 50,000 and the 25,000, and it keeps getting exponential. Think about it in earthquake magnitudes, if you will. The higher the number, the bigger the earthquake, and the difference between like a 7 to a 7.2 on the Richter scale is, sig is significantly larger than, say, going from 6 to 6.5. Big, big differences there. All right, not that you want to talk about earthquakes watching my Amazon videos, but here we have a pretty good indication over time how an item produces. You can go back a year. You can go back all the way to inception of an item. And this particular item launched in April of 2021. They took advantage of the Mother's Day rush. They probably stocked out. And you can see the, the, the BSR jumps all the way to 277,000. And the, the green line, when you see that green line disappear, that is usually indicative of a stock out. And that makes this a lot easier to track like what your competitor is up to and how the stocking is going and all that good stuff. The yellow line is list price and you absolutely wanna watch my video on list price and MSRP next. Check that one out here. Uh, lots of good things. You always need to load your list price in. And then as you look at the ups and downs, uh, there's a lot of things you can learn about the listing. I'm gonna go to another listing now. This is my own mom box. My new name is Mommy. I'm struggling to sell this only have a single review. We're flash selling this. I mean, like I want to retell this at 50 bucks to give you some ideas. It's only at $29.99, right? So trying to move the product. If you go to my history here, you see some blanks in the data, right? And that is because this particular item actually got suppressed. It lost its SEO rankings. So whenever you see a blank BSR, full stop, that's a big problem. You need to take immediate action. You need to set the category ID. You need to fix the suppression. Watch my videos on hidden suppression fixing. You can even Google that. It's at the top of Google there or click on the video link. 
Um, but but suppressions are going to cause the the item to derank. You'll still be able to purchase the item technically, but the item won't be found within search. So a suppression affects SEO. It doesn't affect PPC. PPC sales still go through. PPC ads still uh, convert and still have traffic, etc. So that's a really good call out when looking at BSR. So if you're looking at something and all of a sudden you see you've got a blank BSR, full stop. This is an emergency problem. Um, notice how I can also track my sale price. So I'm trying to sell this at 50 bucks. I've had to lower it down to 40. I had to lower it down to 20, 90, 99 because man, I'm really just trying to move this unit, having some trouble. It's not going well. Okay, so that's one of the most important things to keep in mind with BSR. You can also see, man, nothing sold. It's going all the way up to 429,000 and I'm struggling at the 250s right now. So even after all of the effort we've put into this listing, it's still not moving. People just don't want to buy it. So I'm wasting hundreds of dollars on PPC trying to produce some uh, innovation and some unit movement. A couple other things to keep in mind with BSR, it is different per category, right? So the home and goods is going to have its own set of BSR. You can extrapolate the sales and the velocities based on the category it is in, right? So for example, grocery, which is a weaker category on Amazon, lower margins, not as many units are moving, is, is not the equivalent to home and kitchen. So an item that's in 100,000 home goods versus 100,000 in grocery, without a doubt, the home goods one or home and kitchen is moving significantly faster. So BSRs are not equal. They are different based on the category they are in. Another cool tip, if you go down to the product and details section, you can see what category or best sellers rank it is in. Um, I may have started this video by saying business sellers rank. It's actually best sellers rank. And in here, you can see the top 100. So if you click on that and you can see beauty and personal care or skincare sets, you can also click on these to get an idea of like who is producing the best in the main category where we can see this. This is the generic version. Uh, seeing no image here, that is probably because this listing just got uh, yanked from the Amazon catalog or they just deleted it. Since it's an acne treatment, I bet you that this one probably has got one of those famous uh, listing removals that Amazon does where they shoot first, ask questions later, and then that'll take them weeks to get it back online. So if you see something like that in the best sellers rank, uh, I've done previous videos where Amazon will do a whole takedown of like hundreds of su supplements in the same day. That's a thing. All right, so that was the generic one. And then here is the subcategory. This is the skincare sets and kits. And you can see a very different uh, variety of, uh, of things that are going on here. And quite frankly, my item is not doing well at all in its current category. So maybe we need to go ahead and switch its category and see if that helps it quite a bit. So I'm going to actually go over to brand registry right now, and I'm going to ask them to change my category. I actually don't know what category I'm going to move it to, but I'm making this decision during this video purely based on the in movement of the item and the BSR not doing well. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go down to listing issue request. A product detail page is not quite what we're looking for. We're looking for change a product's category. I'm going to type the ASIN in right there. And it doesn't matter which SKU you select if you've got multiple SKUs on the same ASIN. We do recommend having a duplicate SKU on the same ASIN. So you can do FBA on one, FBM on the other. Notice how I put a suffix FBM on the other one so I can keep and tell the difference between the two. So in here, you can actually search for the category you want to be in. And I'm going to try mom gift. Let's see what comes up. So I hit search and I see bakeware sets. I see kids baking supplies. Definitely not what I'm going for. Right, so let's try that again. Let's try beauty gift and see if that brings me a different one. Uh, got some face treatments and personal care and stuff like that. Not really getting any difference of opinion based on what I was looking for. So if we go back to the category I'm currently in, I'm in skincare sets and kits, which mine totally is a skin skincare set, but not really what I'm hoping for. Um, so if we look, not really seeing what I want there. So I'm gonna try it soap gift. And I don't know if the word gift is going to throw us off, but let's keep trying here. So cleansers, soaps, skincare and body, foot creams and lotions. There's just a lot of different angles that I could go here. Um, and, and we do want to be in a set and kits. Skincare, body sets and kit. How does that compare to our current one? It's probably actually what we're currently in. Let's go back to the listing and compare and contrast. Skincare sets and kits. 
skincare, body, sets, and kits. That's probably where we're actually in right now. But there's health and household, and there's beauty and personal care. So which one are we in currently? Let's go back over here. So we are in beauty and personal care. That's definitely where I want to be because it's not a medical thing. So that's probably where we are today. Um, and as we look down here, not really a lot of better options. Unfortunately, we got scrubs, body treatments, stuff like that. But I probably would say this is the best category we're going to find. So kind of came up short here, but that's kind of the idea of why you would want to pay attention to your BSR. If it's blank, you got to take immediate action. If it's in the wrong category, you might want to take action. However, um, the actual category, generally speaking, doesn't have a, a very large impact on your sales. Now, there are some exceptions to that. For example, if you're at the top of the BSR, if you could be the number one uh, seller in a sub niche, you want that badge. That is the golden cow of all badges that you could get as the number one seller in a category. But if, if, if not, if you're in like the hundreds and it wouldn't matter which category you're in, you're probably not going to get much of a sales impact nothing probably to worry about too much. All right, so that's my video on BSR, best sellers rank. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions about how the BSR works. It's basically an algorithm um, of how your item does compared against others. It's not purely based on just units being turned. It's also based on conversion rates and the dollars that are brought in. I actually did a LinkedIn poll where we had some Amazon experts weigh in on how it was conducted. We got some differing feedback, but consensus was it's a little bit behind the scenes. So Amazon doesn't just do it based on the number of units. They don't do it based on the number of sales. It's a combination factor of a bunch of things, including that CTR conversion rate, unit count, and profit that Amazon makes. Let me know what you think about this video in the comment section. Subscribe to see more catalog explanations on Amazon.